The whaling station in Durban closed um, in the early 70s. And it closed for a number of reasons, um, primarily because it was becoming harder and harder to find whales. We estimated some 210,000 humpbacks were taken by modern whaling last century of a total uh, whaling catch of some 2 million uh, baleen whales that were really removed by this huge industry last century. Man relied heavily on whale fat, blubber, for just about everything in the household back then. The world was powered by whale oil, street lights, heating, cooking stoves, especially with the advent of the Second World War, whale oil was in high demand for nitroglycerin and bombs. The moot question is really what proportion of the population remained. Gut feel suggests that there were probably some 300 to 500 whales left uh, in Southern African waters at that time. And there was a global movement to say that whaling was out of control and that we were seeing many, many different species of whales drifting towards extinction. Warning, warning, warning. Quit poaching whales. Stop one chaser boat already and save one pot of whales, which is not bad for our first morning's work. The power of people to stand behind this and to say no, no more whaling, and, and to really put their foot down, and us as a you know global community to say that whaling is not all right, and we are going to lose these giant, beautiful megafauna that are here. We are running two observation platforms with old school analog theodolites that basically measure angles of whales. From collecting all this data, there's a lot that we can deduce. One, we can deduce numbers, that's the main thing. We can get peaks, when are the busy days, when are the more quiet days, is there a general increase in whales? Being in the towers, we knew there were a lot of whales. We were busy every single day for 10 hours a day. I mean, some, some days we tracked over 100 groups of whales in one tower. So it's a lot of data points, a lot of data entry. But when we actually came back and started looking at the data, we, we, I was personally very surprised to find how many numbers and how many whales were coming past and how they'd increased. We're estimating that between 30 and 40,000 whales are moving up the east coast of Africa. If you had chatted to conservationists in the 70s about whale conservation, I'm pretty sure most of them would have gone, it's impossible. They would have said there's no way that we're going to be able to save whales. How do you go from 300 whales, how do you turn that population around? Yeah, we're sitting, we're talking about this amazing success story. Right now, we are seeing a great success um, in humpback whale recovery. And for us to, you know, for us to do anything to disrupt that or threaten that recovery would be absolutely catastrophic. You know, we'll just undo all the good work that we've done as a global population. Talking about one of the greatest conservation stories in the world.